Hi beauties. Okay, so as you know, I'm not at home. My rooms are currently under construction, but I was on YouTube and I've seen this weird thing. People females is shaving their skin. And I really didn't know what to think about it. But it's actually called derma planning. Derma planning. Um, I'm thinking that I'm saying it correct. And it says it's for skin rejuvenation. And it's called derma derma planning. And um uh, derma planning. And it's for skin rejuve re um rejuvenation. And it says it can be performed every three to four weeks. And typically removes several weeks of dead skin cells build up. The, derma, the dermaplaning procedure must be performed by a licensed dermato dermatologist or plastic surgeon. And is safe on most skin types. The treatment is performed quickly and does not cause any pain. Dermaplaning is designed primary primarily to resolve vellus hair um the type of hair that is commonly referred to as peach fuzz a very fine hair that um the body develops to stay warm the appearance of the hair is more pronounced than some pronounced in some people than other and can help remove this type of hair temporary dermaplaning can help remove this hair temporarily and I'm just on locator.com so um yeah and it says the benefits of dermaplaning is it helps exfoliate the skin with broken um capillaries capillaries I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right offers better results than tradition uh traditional Microdermabrasion, little downtime, skin is only slightly red and puffy after the treatment, can temporarily remove fine um, downy hair with ease, perform just like shaving, and can be performed with the chemical pill. Um, and other reasons why people do it is mainly to get that... Um, the dead skin off their face plus they say that it's a better way um to apply makeup apply makeup becomes smoother and um you just and it says the drawbacks of dermaplaning dermaplaning offers several benefits that are also some of the drawbacks to this procedure people with very sensitive skin may not be a good candidate for this procedure it is among the more aggressive skin affiliations and rejuvenation treatments available. The skin may peel naturally after the procedure, especially if you're undergoing the treatment every two to three weeks. This means you will need to have an emollient rich moisturizer day and night as a peeling process begins and ensures that the skin does not get too dry. Dermaplaning is not designed for people with acne or who experience frequent, frequent breakouts because it can trigger activity of the sebaceous glands. When someone has acne, acne they need uh, their hairs to expunge, expunge the oil that is typically built up on their skin, blah, blah, blah. So let's get to it. Just wanted to tell you because... I'm about to try it and normally you can either go I also read that estheticians does it as well and they normally use a 10 gauge um what is that what is that uh blade called I have to look it up thank god for google Scalpel. There we go. They normally use a 10 gauge scalpel. And 
Yeah. And I just really want to know how you say, is it derma planning or derma, derma planning? Is it derma planning or der derma planning? Whatever. <sighs> but it's all over YouTube as people shave, females shaving their skin. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eyebrow sharp, uh, shaper and I don't recommend you do this at home if you're not comfortable and we're just going to see what kind of results that I get. I pro I'm not going to do this ever again. I doubt that I am. So I'm opening it up. My hair is already pushed back. We got a brand new blade. I have my little um, Kleenex on the side of me. And this is basically going to get all that hair and dead skin off of my face. And I'm just using the little compact because I forgot to pack my mirror. And this is the only other mirror she has here besides the bathroom. And it says just like shaving, but I'm not a dude, so. I don't shave my face. Now, after you do this, it says that you want to moisturize your face. Because this is also known as a, um. Uh, This is also known as a very uh, intense, uh, very intense um, exfoliant. And I'm just being careful around my, you know, my eyebrows. I mean, I do see the little hairs, but I just don't know. I have to be careful, guys, because I have all these little moles on my face and stuff. I mean, I can hear it. I can hear it, too. Like, I can hear the scraping on my face. I don't know, it's just crazy. And it's best to do on dry skin. So don't, 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 don't do it on wet skin. Because you won't have good results, apparently. And I have to be very careful around my my uh <laughs> my eyebrows because they are already thin. Yeah, and I actually think that I am just gonna insert a picture of um. Uh, what this little Kleenex looks like. And I mean, honestly, it's just getting rid of a whole lot of hair. Maybe I just don't have that much um, dead skin cells built up on my face. Because, I mean, I do take care of my hair. 
I mean, take care of my hair, take care of my skin on a regular basis. But honestly, all of this is only thing that this is doing is removing all the little hairs on my face. Okay, so I'm going to just insert this somewhere in the video. Um, this is after I did the dermaplaning or whatever. And I, I came in here and I came in here and I took a picture for you guys um, of the Kleenex. And I said that um, I couldn't really tell. I can tell it's a lot of dead skin on here so I think well it's not a lot but there is some dead skin on here so that just changes my mind just a little bit also I'm going to take a picture um you can't really see in this lighting but I'm all red up in here I will take a picture of what my face looks like it's nothing major, but, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did notice that. All right. Honestly. Oh, can't get my sideburns. I need them. And honestly, I don't know how I felt about that. Now, I mean, it's a little dirty. The blade is a little dirty. I guess that's the dead skin cells. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll take a picture of that. But other than that, I don't really think that this was worth anything my face does feel a whole lot smoother but uh, yeah i don't think i want to do that again um my hair is i mean my hair my face is red just because i took a blade to it and scraped the hair off but um maybe that was just a little bit too invasive for my face and this is just my first impressions of it. It's not something I was just like, oh, trending. <laughs> is that something that I want to do? And the benefits seemed like it was legit. You get rid of all the dead skin cells on your face. But like I said, I pretty much exfoliate my face and stuff on a regular basis. So, I didn't have a whole bunch of dead, um, dead skin cells on my face. I just recommend something like this for somebody who, um, let's just say that they don't take care of their skin and they have a lot of buildup. They might want to go to their esthetician or um, dermatologist or plastic surgeon to get this done. Um, but if you're somebody that pretty much takes care of your face, um, yeah, you might not want to do this. Now, I mean, it did. It got rid of all my little peach fuzz because it's all over the napkin. I used the, uh, a napkin. I used the white Kleenex, and like I said, I'll be taking a picture and inserting it in the video, but... Other than that, I mean, I shaved my face. It wasn't nothing uh, world class. It's something that I probably won't be doing again. Because, um, honestly, I don't see the benefit. Oh, yeah, but just so you know, just because you shave your face, these hairs are so thin that... Um, these hairs are so thin that it's not going to grow back any thicker. 
unless you got thick hair on your face, then whatever you chopped off is going to come back. But, um, you're, just because you shave these little hairs, they're not going to come back thicker. Now, I did read in rare cases that some people did get ingrown hairs. Um, that's common, well, common in rare cases, I guess I should say. And also, um, people complained about their skin being really, really, really dry. But, like I said, you do want to use a, um, a very rich, um moisturizer after you do something like this and another benefit to this is um when you put products on your face like mask and things like that your your face is supposed to be more receptive to it just because you don't have all that um dead skin blocking it well this is the end of my video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs up um, don't forget to join me on all of my social media platforms. They will be in the description box down below. And don't forget to smash that, um, subscribe button. And then until next time, peace. I pray, I pray that it's hope for the ladies. I've been looking at the natural soap for ladies.